With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. Okay, here we are again with Eventide, uh, Eventide HQ uh, in New Jersey. Uh, we're part of the Super Booth at Home Edition. And to, we're with Colin here. And Colin's going to tell Well, what are you going to tell us about, Colin? Uh, there's another product, right? Yeah, so um, we've been developing and porting some of our effects over to iOS. These are some of these algorithms in here. They they come from like the H nine and um, the other places like that, right? Yeah, that's right. So um, this is going to be our eighth um, effect available on this platform. Um, we've got the black hole reverb, spring reverb, mangled verb. Um, so you know several different reverb algorithms that you can check out. Uh, this one is Crush Station, and it's a distortion effect with built-in octave pitch shifting, uh, compression, and EQ. Ah, right. Okay. So uh, we can see that here on the on the iPad screen, and mm -hmm. you get like a GUI with it, and you're running that in AUM by the looks of things. Yep, we're monitoring and mixing through um, AUM, and we're processing two channels of input uh, from this Euro rack which is giving us a drum uh, pattern and an arpeggiated sound. Okay. Well, maybe we could uh, hear what it does. Let's have a listen. So um, let me take the effect off really quick. This is what our synth sounds like, just the arpeggio. Coming from the micro plates. And... Uh, now I'm using a preset called Eye of the Universe here, which... Um, That's adding a lot of extra gain by the sound effect, yeah. A lot of extra gain, and we have um, these performance features from the ribbon controller here, right? If I want to, I can create some uh, cool performance macros pretty quickly, just by sort of dialing things in like this. And then you can move multiple parameters oh, that's at the same neat. time. That's neat. Yep. Does that also apply to the reverb ones and the modulation ones? Because that's a really cool feature. I've they have the same. Before. Yep. That's right. Oh, so we nice. have all the same um, sort of like performance features available from each of these H9 effects. Neat. Um, yeah, that stuff all carries over. And um, so let's listen to what the drums sound like here. So is that dry at the moment? That's dry. And here's what this one. for a sec. <laughs> That's trashy, right, so, man. <laughs> yeah, it gets trashy. Um, and you have uh, compression, which you can do pre or post distortion. And it gets pretty heavy, right? So this is um, post distortion right now. I can do it before. It sort of like changes the character of you know the the sound coming in or coming out. Uh huh. And then uh, so this is a preset called Destroy Bit Kit. Um, you know we kind of took a second look at these effects uh, once we you know started porting them to these other platforms to see kind of like what other sources people are going to be using it on. So this is an effect that's designed to give you kind of like an 8-bit sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit crushed. Right? And you can kind of use the ribbon controller in that way, too, if you pull up a preset and you just want to find sort of like the right spot for your particular source, right? Yeah. You can kind of sweep through it that way if you're not using it as a performance feature. Can you MIDI map these controls as well if you want to use it with a controller, for instance? Um, so you can use the uh, ribbon controller on desktop with a mod wheel. So yeah, you can uh, use it on sound sources that way and have um, tactile control for like nuanced morphs and sweeps and that kind of okay. thing. And then there's um, the hot switch feature, which um, is more of a throw type thing. So you can basically call up a secondary set of parameters within the same preset. Right. Right, so right there I'm taking down the SAG control, which opens up um, sort of like the breakup of the effect. Yeah. The SAG all the way up, it's like a, like a tube amp style thing. 
and it really kind of like craps out, you know? It gets like yeah. really fuzzy. It sounds like the battery's going. Right, exactly. So uh, what's the what's the CPU load like for this kind of stuff? And, and, and uh, you, know, uh, you know, can you run multiple? Could you be able, would you be able to run those and some of black holes? You know, what's the, what's the hit like? Because it has to be optimized for iOS, presumably. Yeah, it does. Um, to my knowledge, it should be like two or three percent. Um, I can show you. We're running this actually on um, a send here. I can get some black hole going. We can pull up uh, some other effects. So. So we're running spring right now here. All right, so it's, it's certainly doable. Yeah. Yep. Uh, do these go? Do, do these generally come in bundles, or are they you sell them as individual effects? I mean, how? What's the kind of pricing structure, and how does that work? Uh, so for the iOS effects, it um, ranges between, I believe, seven ninety nine and uh, nineteen ninety nine. All right, so which they're is, really affordable, right? Yeah. You know, and people are familiar with these effects from our other platforms, so they'll be like. Oh, I can finally get Black Hole, and it's only 20 bucks, you know, versus uh, the 199 for the uh, desktop plugin, or you know, getting it from the H9 or the, uh, the Space Pedal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For instance, are these? Are, are, is this all available now, or are you showing us something that's kind of coming soon? Um, yeah. So at the time of recording this, uh, we're not actually finished with the presets. We're going to have a host of artist presets available. Hopefully, by the time the video is uploaded next week for the Super Booth. Um, and we're launching with it on Tuesday the 21st, so this would be um, recorded and you know, finished by then. Right. The uh, intro pricing for this on desktop is going to be $39.99 for the foreseeable future. MSRP is going to be $99, but um, you know, we just want to um, sort of give people a chance to get this while everything else is going on, and we're not planning on... Um, you know, giving it the uh, original price until some point later on, but we're, we haven't really specified a date there. And uh, the iOS version is going to be on sale for $9.99 until uh, the end of April. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Colin. Um, thank you for setting up. I know that you guys had to come in to work to do both of these and, and create a, what turned out to be quite a complex setup, so well done for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, this was fun. Okay, folks, see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, take care.